Just a quick blurb on multiplying these two matrices. Here they are. Multiplying the first row by the first column, 0.8 times 2 is 1.6. And, of course, negative 0.6 times 0 is 0. So when we do the first row by the first column, we get 1.6. And that goes in the first row, first column of our product matrix. Multiplying 0.8, negative 0.6 by 0, negative 3 is going to give us, well, multiplying the second row by the second column, got first row by the second column, we get 1.8. Okay, then, multiplying the second row by the first column, we get 1.2. And multiplying the second row by the second column, we get negative 2.4. Now, if we multiply all of these vectors by this matrix, we're going to get something that looks like this. Of course, it's going to be bigger because our scale is different. We have a different scale for this one than we did for this one, and a different scale for this one than we did for this one, okay? This one really has six times the area of this one, so it's you know, twice as wide, three times as high. This one has the identical area to this one. It's just rotated, and again, you would get this one by multiplying this matrix by each of these vectors.